Hi, if this is your first visit to this channel, thank you so much for coming over and checking it out. My name's Rob and I'm an iPad urban sketcher from Hong Kong. This is what my neighborhood looks like now, and I don't know when I'll have a chance to head out and sketch with friends again. So as I was thinking about the joy of being in the great outdoors, I thought maybe I'll make this video and show you guys what the greener side of Hong Kong looks like, the three sketches I did when we were out, as well as explain some of my processes and also some of the mistakes I made and how I got around them. First, let me introduce Alvin Wong, who is one of the first urban sketchers that I met years ago when I first joined Urban Sketches Hong Kong. Alvin had a day off over a weekend and graciously volunteered to take a carload of us to sketch somewhere remote. So I jumped at the chance and we all headed out beyond the pencil-thin skyscrapers that Hong Kong is so known for, past undulating emerald hills. And before you know it, we were out in the country green everywhere. Something that a lot of people don't know is although Hong Kong is one of the densest cities in the world, 75% of the total land area is actually green space. There are amazing hiking trails, there are hills and mountains to explore, and one thing that I love about the city is you can be living in the middle of this dense pencil Legoland crazy thing, but 20 minutes out, 30 minutes out by train or by bus or something like that, and suddenly it is tranquility. This time we were headed to the little fishing village of Sangmuktai in the northeastern section of the territory near Plover Cove in the district of Taipo. The village of Samuntai is really small, hugging the coast of a peninsula that looks like it might have been a couple of islands at one point, but is now connected to the mainland by a breakwater and a road. Houses on stilts stud the shoreline, and off in the distance, fishermen live on what looks like huts on rafts, and on closer inspection, turn out to be floating homes and little fish farms, complete with parked speedboats instead of cars in a garage. A typhoon shelter and another breakwater hugs the boats and keeps them from harm during major storms that can bring 2 to 3 meter storm surges. We went to Samuntai twice and being good Hong Kongers kicked off each visit with a delicious dim sum brunch. After fueling up, it was time to explore. Architecturally, the village is built in what I'd call a no-frills, utilitarian style, making use of all available space. Generally, two-story row houses are connected by a common corridor in the front, and most units facing the sea have also appropriated spaces across the walkway, turning little plots of land into tiny gardens, storage areas, and even launching points for the village's boats. To be honest, I don't think I would have appreciated this place very much before becoming an urban sketcher because it's not really pretty in the conventional sense, but my eye has now become tuned to different kinds of details and I love the character that I saw. There are all kinds of clues that give you an idea how people live and work. And if you love texture and grit, this place has it in spades. On our first weekend, we settled on a little pier that forked out and gave us many options to sketch from. This is Ben, who chose a different vantage point, from Alvin and I who sat together and listened to some retro tunes while chatting, sometimes to curious locals. In this piece, I wanted to capture a feel of the fascinating higgledy piggledy of stuff that was used as building material. There were poles and pillars jutting out at all angles. And to start with, I doodled in the mid-ground, which helped me fix an anchor point in my composition. And then I filled out the background a little before splashing shades of textured greens that I wanted to use to unite the entire piece. And once that was done, I filled in details, ending with some deep shadows in the foreground to strengthen the entire sketch and give the whole piece more depth. I think my first piece was okay, but it's not my favorite. I feel that I fared better the next week, which brings us to our second weekend. 
we had such a great time that Alvin said, hey, you guys want to go someplace again? And everybody somehow came around to say, well, let's go back to Samwood Thai. And this time we decided to sketch from what looked like an open-sided community hall. Gary peeled off the draw on one end and Ben, Alvin and I picked variations of this particular view to tackle. This is the finished piece I did the second time round and I learned a few things while doing it. After seeing where the guys were setting up, I went to fly my drone and by the time I got back, I saw that the guys were more than halfway through their pieces so I knew I had to work quickly. Sometimes less time means less overthinking as well. I decided to keep the background really simple and not add as many boats and because I kept a tighter focus, I think this piece works a lot better. The elements have a little more space to breathe, don't you think? I'm really happy with this one. When it was time to leave, we were saying how this was such a great day that we almost didn't want it to end. So as we were pulling out and we were on that connecting breakwater between the islands and the mainland, we saw the other breakwater heading out into the cove. And one of us said like, oh, you know, wonder what it's like out there. Before you knew it, Alvin had pulled up and we'd all tumbled out to explore. And I had my backpack with me because you never know. Within minutes, we looked at each other and it was, we have to stay. We've, let's, let's hang around a little bit. Let's do one more sketch. Let me show you what I did on my last piece. Now this is my least favorite, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Maybe you won't make the same mistakes that I did. And I wanted to show a little bit about how people live and use these boats. And there happened to be a fancier yacht next to these little fishing boats and laundry was flying and all that. So I wanted to contrast it with the smaller fishing vessels, but I was too hurried. You can see here where I added in the background as well. And so I just filled out that background and I used a lighter tone so that it would recede. But after I finished it, I just looked at it and I, I didn't like the composition. I work digitally on an iPad and use layers in Procreate, so I was able to try some options. This is the scene again. This is what I did the first time, and then I tried simplifying to just this version, which is okay, but in the end, I like this version best of all. Now, here's how I fixed my sketch. The village in the background was in a separate layer, so I could just turn it on or off. I then deleted the orange bow on the left because it seemed to clutter the composition and throw it off balance. In the end, I decided to keep that village background as it gives the scene location context, but muting the colors means it doesn't overpower the story of the boats in the foreground. There is a regulation in force right now in Hong Kong limiting groups in public to a maximum of four. So we could technically head out together again. But I have to say, I really miss those large sketch walks with sketchers just absolutely everywhere. And I have absolutely no idea when we could hold those again. Until then, I'm feeling really grateful about sketching trips just like these in the past. Especially when they're in picturesque little places like this right here at home.